Pivot Run roared over its banks and over Kirby Road. Neighbors said a parked car floated away. One driver said he crossed over it when it was inches deep, then came back and was almost washed away. There was a four foot wall of water pushing my car back. It was, I just tried to gun my engine, but wouldn't. So I pulled in this driveway right there and uh, well, sat there for two and a half hours. <laughs> when the floodwaters receded, part of Kirby Road was gone. In two minutes, I mean, I, that was so surprising, in two minutes. So, you know, now I understand what flash flood is. Flash, it's in the flash. Upstream at McLean Little League, the pounding deluge sent Pimmet Run raging across all the ball fields. We couldn't go anywhere because it was flooded all the way up to the brick building. So we just had to sit and watch it build up and build up. Within about 10 minutes, it became three feet deep. As rain fell three to four inches an hour, it turned Pimmet Run into a monster, tearing up fences and a cinder block dugout. It flooded seven cars in the parking lot. It was just torrential rain and rapid moving water. All these cars were floating. Groundskeeper Dennis Griffin thinks it's the worst damage McLean Little League has seen in its 60 year history. Our dugout, which is cinder block, totally collapsed. All our fences have been knocked over, pitching machines are ruined, um, so it's quite a mess. When the water receded in a few hours, it left useless cars strewn about. Oh, and everybody's cars were going off, the alarms were going off, nobody's keys were working. I mean, I, I hadn't seen anything like it, especially it happened this fast and then gone that fast. Within a couple hours, it was in and out. It left debris stuck in fences like an Art Deco project and a high water mark. I'm six feet one and this is how high the water was here so it was about probably six and a half feet deep right here. 